In this video, I'll be revealing the very best merchants in The Witcher 3 to sell all of your unwanted items, guaranteeing the highest possible returns on the most valuable items in the game. The first half of the video will cover all the best merchants available in the base game, covering the early and mid-game regions of Velen, Novigrad and Skellige. The second half of the video will cover all the super rich merchants only available late game, exclusive to the Blood and Wine expansion, when you eventually reach the country of Toussaint. Before proceeding, check out this chart. As you can see, you'll receive additional bonus crowns for selling certain items to traders that already supply those types of items for sale. For example, selling armour to an armourer, weapons and horse accessories to a blacksmith, runes and glyphs to an armourer or blacksmith, or books to a book trader, will always net you an additional 20% coin. Selling alchemy items to herbalist and alchemist merchants will net you an additional 15% coin. And selling all your unwanted alcohol, food and junk items to innkeepers will net you up to an additional 12% coin. As you can see on the chart, if you sell certain items to merchants located in specific regions, you can receive an additional bonus on top of the merchant type bonus. For example, you receive more crowns for selling your unwanted armour to an armourer located in Novigrad City, rather than Velen or Skellige. To keep things simple and for the least headaches, simply prioritise traders located in Novigrad City when it comes to selling all your unwanted items, where you're pretty much guaranteed a decent return across the board. When it comes to selling alcohol, food and junk, you may find alternative innkeepers or shopkeepers in other regions who may offer slightly higher prices, but they usually have very little coin to spend so it's best to stick with the richest innkeepers with the deepest pockets, which are both located in Novigrad City as shown on the chart. Bear in mind, for a small fee, any craftsman can dismantle all items marked as junk into useful crafting materials. So before you head to the Kingfisher Inn to clear out all your junk to line your coffers, you may want to first check the dismantling results of certain junk items. It's worth noting that once you reach the country of Toussaint, which is exclusive to the Blood and Wine expansion, the merchants and traders located there will usually offer the best prices in the game, as well as being far wealthier than all the other merchants in any other region. So there's no need to look back once you get there. I'll be covering all the super rich traders located in Toussaint and how to unlock them toward the end of the video, so be sure to stay tuned. A handy tip to note here is that once you've relieved any merchant from all their crowns, it takes 5 full days of in-game time for their coffers to refill to the max. To speed up this process, simply meditate 6 times in a row for the maximum allowable time, and their crowns will have magically reappeared, ready for more wheeling and dealing. The top 7 richest merchants available during early to mid-game are as follows. Hattori, the master blacksmith who's found just north of the portside gate in Novigrad City. To unlock him, you'll first need to complete his associated quest, which is a level 24 secondary quest named Of Swords and Dumplings. Hattori should be your priority blacksmith for selling all your unwanted weapons, upgrades and horse accessories. Greetings, Ibeer. Greetings, Geralt. How might I be of help? There's another two blacksmiths located in Novigrad City, which will give you the same return on these goods. However, Hattori is far more wealthier than the other two combined. The journeyman armourer found in the northwest corner of Hierarch Square in Novigrad City, given he's not as rich as the other traders mentioned in this guide. But being the only armourer located in Novigrad City, he should be your priority call for selling all your unwanted armour, due to his significant bonuses. Top-notch swords! Joanna, the master armourer who works in the Bloody Baron's estate at Crow's Perch in Velen. To unlock her, you'll first need to complete her associated side quest, which is a level 24 secondary quest named Master Armourers. Geralt, good of you to come by. What can I do for you? The journeyman blacksmith on the northern battlements of the entrance to the Care Trolled Citadel in Skellige, 
across the bridge to the west of the signpost. If you can't see or speak to him, simply meditate to change the time of day. Interested in the weapon? There's a tale behind every item I've got. The journeyman armourer found in the Kermire Fortress in the southern cliffs of Ard Skellig. You'll find him sitting on a wooden stool in the centre of the main raised central courtyard, just north of the signpost. Greetings. Want to look over our stock? Take it everything here's for sale? Sure, if you can afford it. The amateur blacksmith of Farsdale Village, who can be found inside his forge hut, on the beach to the south, running along the waterfront. You're back. Olivia the innkeep, found inside the Kingfisher Inn to the northeast corner of Hierarch Square in Novigrad City, directly behind the notice board. How can I be of service? Marquise Serenity, found inside the Passiflora brothel, also classed as an innkeeper. The Passiflora is located just northeast of the St. Gregory's Bridge signpost in Novigrad City. Drop this job. Hey there, Hen. Could it be that all roads lead to the Passiflora? The bookshop found on the northern side of Hierarch Square in Novigrad City, owned by Marcus T.K. Hodgson. This is the best place for selling all your unwanted books and documents. Just make sure not to sell any Witcher gear related maps or notes without first reading them. The following seven super rich traders are all found in the country of Toussaint, which is exclusive to the Blood and Wine expansion. They are all the wealthiest traders available in the entire game, as follows. Grand Master Lazar Lafargue of Beauclair City, located inside his workshop just northeast of the Nilfgaardian signpost. Lafargue will be upgraded to Grand Master level once you complete his associated side quest. Greetings. I hope your search goes well. The journeyman blacksmith found northeast of the signpost in the tawny grounds of Toussaint. Ah, a professional. I like to trade with your kind. You actually appreciate quality workmanship. The journeyman blacksmith of Arthak Palace Ruins to the very north of Toussaint, located by the grindstone and armorer's table on the northern side of the palace ruins. He only appears once the site has been liberated of bandits, in relation to secondary quest Knights for Hire. <laughs> The Witcher we laugh to laugh. The journeyman armorer located at the Freint docks just southwest of the Castel Dacia abandoned a state signpost. The docks themselves are an abandoned site, and the armorer will only appear there once the site has been liberated of bandits. What do you seek here? Go back, Nording. Cross the Yoruga. Go home! In the Gorgon foothills to the northwest of Toussaint, you'll find a person in distress, just west of the Fox Hollow village signpost. The captive is a journeyman armorer, and eliminating the bandits will allow him to relocate to a small settlement east of the Castel Ravello vineyard, as shown here, opening access to his services. Here we are. Is there some way I might help you? There's also a couple of rich shopkeepers located in Beauclair City, should you wish to visit them. The first one is located inside a shop just around the corner to the left of Lazar Lafargue's Grandmaster Workshop, as shown here. The second shopkeeper is found on the ground floor of the Cleverclogs Tavern, which is located just southeast of the Nilfgaardian Embassy signpost, not far from Lafargue's workshop, as shown here. If you know of any other wealthy traders who offer good bonuses and deep pockets, please make sure to share your findings in the comments below.